So I'm going to start out with a Bear Solutions ISO drill. I don't have my flat range set up yet. I just have this target. So I'm just going to be aiming at one of those three. And we're going to see if I can hit it. You practice by just your dominant hand, just your support hand, uh, each for five rounds, and then the rest of the mag, both hands. It's not the true bear ISO drill. Once I have the actual flat range set up and I'm using their targets, I can, you know, actually work it. But this is also focused on low round count. Whereas in the bear solutions video, you know, they say a full mag dominant, full mag support, full mag dominant, and then either full mag support or full mag both. I think it's a great warm-up drill, kind of gets you back into the groove of the basics. And then from there, once the flat range is started, it's almost always going to be warm-up with the ISO drill and then the bare standards, and then I can continue to whatever I'm practicing that day because then I'll be fully warmed up. But so we're gonna warm up with bare ISO drill, see where things go from there. It might be <clears throat> I might continue to practice with the Dara holster. I might focus on reloads. I might focus on speed, maybe just accuracy because that's a big thing to be when you're a shooter. But either way, let's get started. So this is going to be bare ISO drill, five rounds dominant hand, five rounds forehand, hand, six rounds both hands because I have 15 plus one in the chamber. I think I probably miscounted. Uh, That wasn't terrible. I need to back myself down in speed, focus more on accuracy. Um, really simple. It doesn't matter how fast you are if you're not making contact with the target. So I'm gonna slow it down, draw from the holster, do three rounds, reholster, and continue like that for this last mag. Okay.
So today I'm training with my new Dara holster using the FNX 45 Tactical. Um, I have some previous footage that'll also be in this video of me wearing a Wooby poncho, and I decided to take that off, switch over to my regular jacket because the poncho was adding another factor to training when I'm not even good with the holster yet. So that's what today will be focused on is getting good with the holster. Another rainy day I can practice with the poncho once I'm good with getting a first shot off, getting a good grip and releasing the holster all at the same time. That's what this training is all about. Is It's all stepping stones to become a more proficient shooter. Helps if I put one in the chamber. You know, I'm really trying to get better at recoil control because the gun recoils a lot but as long as my sights return back to the exact same way that they were when I first pulled the trigger then I'll be able to reshoot but again I'm recording this as much for me as I am for you you get to watch somebody who's not good at shooting try to get better I get to go back and watch and see what I was doing wrong what I could have done better what I need to work on I'd say I'm a pretty accurate shot, as I miss the target a lot. I'd say what I need to focus on is I need to do more trigger isolation exercises, and I really need to slow it down and worry more about accuracy. For the record, from here on out, if it's raining, you probably won't see me with the optic. This optic is honestly affecting, I know this, this is the copyism. This optic's honestly affecting my accuracy because it's getting rain on it with how it is right now. It's completely unprotected and it is a non-enclosed emitter red dot. So as it gets rain on it, if I go to irons, I'm seeing a whole bunch of dots because the, I don't know how it's working, but like the water's on the optic and it's refracting the front optic. So I'm seeing like four or five dots. Or if I go to red dot, sometimes water's exactly where that red dot needs to be and it's just making it a huge fuzzy thing. Again, I know I'm just coping. I'm at a not terrible distance right now, probably seven, seven yards? Yeah, about seven yards. And I should be more accurate at that range. And I'm more, am I more accurate in dry weather? Yeah, that's where I train more. But that's the point of all this is you need to be accurate and fast and consistent in all weather, in all situations. I will be doing a review of the FNX 45 Tactical. Once I get a couple thousand rounds on it, I'm at 
closing in on a thousand right now. I know I suck for a thousand. Um, but again, dry weather, taking all the time in the world, not really practicing anything but accuracy. I'm pretty good. Trying to be faster, all of that stuff is affecting my accuracy. Practicing in the rain, something I don't think I've hardly ever done before because most of the time people don't want to go shooting if it's raining out. But you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, I'll be doing a review on the Dara holster. I have both this level 2 duty and the concealed carry uh, light bearing for the FNX 45 Tactical Surefire X300U and they don't really care what optic. They're all optic cut but I got the large hood because I'm either going to be update, upgrading to a Hollow Sun 509T or a Aimpoint Acro in the future. Um, please roast me in the comments if you feel the need to. I'm more than happy to take constructive criticism. I'll probably start wearing gloves from now on in my training because I noticed that even though the FNX is rather stippled, um, this front section here is not. And I was starting to get uh, a very loose and very poor grip. Again, just coping. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up for today, folks.